Hello and welcome to All Things Nitty's Crochet Channel. This is just a very quick video to show you how to do the one round tiny little love heart uh, that works really nice in the corner of the bumpy stitch bookmark which um, is linked in the description box below uh, if you wanted to do this. Um, so we're going to do this little love heart. To do it you will need um, to use a hook that's 0.5 millimeters smaller than your recommended uh, yarn, okay? So to do the magic ring we are going to place the tail in our palm and wrap round your first two fingers. Cross over and bring your hands to face up the way. With your third finger, grab a hold of the yarn and hold these two stitches, um, these two bars steady. Okay, we are going to go under the first bar and over the second, okay? So we're going under the first bar, over the second bar, and we're going to pull this yarn, that side of the loop, all the way past your fingertips. Place your hook at 6 o'clock on the clock and then twist so that you're at 12 o'clock, okay? Now you can take your two fingers out but make sure the loop doesn't close and then you're going to chain two. One, two. And that just secures your little loop just now, okay? So to begin the love heart, we're going to work three US double crochet. So yarn over, go into the loop, Yarn over and pull through. When you have three loops, I like to place my thumb right at the base of the stitch and that just keeps them all um, at the same height, okay? So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, okay? Two more US double crochet. Place your thumb in the loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more. Okay, so we have a chain two and three double crochet. We're now going to work three half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the loop, yarn over and pull through. When you have three, yarn over, pull through all three. Two more. So that's one and two. Okay, so that's one half of the love heart done. So to make the point at the bottom here, we're going to do an extended double crochet. So yarn over, go into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. You have three loops again. Yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through two. So it's pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. Now we're going to mirror this side, so the next is three half double crochet. And you're working your way back up to the top. Okay, so three half double crochet. And then three double crochet. One, two and three now we started with a chain two we're going to end with a chain two so chain one chain two now you you should have something that looks like this what we're going to do is the tail we're going to pull it but we're not going to close it completely just bring it to about that size now you're going to do a slip stitch into this loop okay so just place your hook through yarn over pull the loop through and then just slip the stitch on uh, so just do a slip stitch there, okay? Now you're going to pull your wheel closed even more, but it's not completely tight. In order so that you don't see this loop, if you put your hook from the back of your work, go through the middle loop again. So bring your hook, oh, sorry. Bring your hook from the back of your work to the front. Loop your this loop onto your hook and pull the working yarn just so it's tight enough and then you're going to pull this loop through to the back of your work okay so just pull the working yarn tail till the loop is like that pull it through to the back of your little heart and pull it up a little bit now we're going to completely close our little love heart so with the starting tail you're going to pull really tight to finish it off and now because the loops at the back what you're going to do is cut your working yarn and pull it through. Sorry, I came without my scissors. I do apologise. So with the working yarn, bring your little tail to the right-hand side. Take the tail of your working yarn, loop it through the loop, and then pull that down tight. Pull it down tight, and it makes a really tight and strong little knot. But because you pulled it through to the back you don't see the little bump okay so that's the tiny one round little love heart and like i say it works perfectly for 
the corner of the little bookmark uh, pattern that I've done. Okay, so I'll see you when I post my next video. Bye now.